Hey parents, how are you doing? This is Danny Ray, and I teach history. I teach PE. I'm also the leadership director at, on our campus, and I want to welcome you. If you're listening to this, you are in my PE class, and I want to be honest with you. I absolutely love physical education. This is um, health and wellness is something that I am into like you would not even believe. So. I'm really glad that your child's in my class. I'm glad you're with me. We're going to partner up. We're going to get through this. PE is definitely going to be a little different, obviously, um, through virtual learning, but we're going to figure it out and get through it. Um, I love this title slide. I got. I take zero credit for this. This is all Miss Velasco who, who put this together, this little Bitmoji slide. Um, by the way, your kids have access to all of this, so if you would like to go through any of this slideshow, your kids already have it. Um, I want to jump into a couple things here. Um, first, I will mention, um, so I, I've been teaching a long time, actually. I don't even want to admit how long. I'm on year 22, uh, 10th year here at Clifton. Absolutely love teaching in the city that I live in. Um, when I saw this job pop up, I jumped at it, and I am really grateful to be here. Um, so a few things that I'm going to highlight on this particular side is having your kid, just to help me out with having your kid be in here on time. Um, I want, I'd really like them to pop into the waiting room at least two minutes before the class starts. So um, just, you know, help them with that. I realize sometimes, you know, things come up, but they really should be there. And if there's something going on where they can't get on, on time. I just need you to email me, let me know what's, what's happening because I don't want to have to mark them tardy. Um, I would say, you know, being presentable is huge. Uh, we're going to talk about it a little bit uh, further down as far as what they need to wear, but they definitely need to be wearing clothes um, that they would wear when they're at school. Like, I, like doing PE and your PJs isn't going to work. Um, you know, Please make sure they're not wearing a shirt that has an offensive image on it or language on it. Um, I just don't want them to get in trouble for that. And this is a tricky one, uh, is the camera. I really would appreciate if you encourage them to keep their camera on at least part of the time. What's happening is that there are kids who, and I get it, sometimes there are reasons uh, – that they feel like they, they don't want to be seen. They don't want to have the camera on. I get it. And again, I realize it's a touchy subject. But it, uh, if, if I'm calling on them, their screen's off, and they're not answering, well, then I'm just assuming that their screen is off, and they're off you know, watching TV with a bowl of cereal or something like that. So it really helps me if you encourage them to at least have their camera on for part of the time just so they know they're present and that they're participating. Um, some of the other things, actually all of this we've gone through, but encourage them also just to, um, to just use proper respectful behavior. Um, respect is huge in my class. The way that they communicate with each other, the way they communicate with me is huge. So just, if you could emphasize that whole respect part, I would appreciate it. Um, some of the expectations are that they're just doing their best. I realize some kids um, actually hate PE, and that's okay. That's, that's all right. Uh, I, I, I never compare kids with one another. Every kid is on their own journey with their own wellness. So um, I'm just expecting that your child gives me 100% of what they have, um, and that's all I'm looking for. If your kid can do 25 push-ups, that's awesome. If your kid can't do one push-up, that's awesome too. We're going to get through it. I'm going to teach them ways to start building strength either way. Um, I, we, they really uh, they need to be working out about 30 minutes a day. And so just for their, not for their grade, but just for their physical health. We've talked about several times already that your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, all of it, um, oh, I've only got a few seconds left, they're all interconnected. Uh, so at the last remaining seconds that I have, please make sure they're in some kind of athletic clothes. The PE clothes would be best. Uh, I want you all to know, parents, I'm here for you. You can reach out to me anytime, dray at monroviaschools.net. Um, I'm looking forward to this year, and I really hope that we will um, be back together live soon.